Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Didamo coming to you live with another video. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, what's up to all my light brights out there? This is Didamo coming to you live with another video. Basically, this next video is going to be a thrift shop hurl. And this is going to be my day today at the thrift store. I'm going to show you all the little things that I picked up at the thrift shop going thrifting today with my mother. And I went ahead and did that. Um, first, we had to take care of some other business. And then we went ahead and we went thrift shopping. When we went to four different thrift shops, I know it looks like we went through a lot. But in each one, I was actually able to find some stuff. So I'm going to go and take you through the first shop we went to. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got from there. And then go on to all the other ones that we did before we made it back home. Actually, before we went to Starbucks. And I got my refresher. Yes, my orange Valencia Trenta refresher, honey. Yes, I love that. If you don't know about it, go try it out. It is bomb as I don't know what. It's called Orange Valencia from Starbucks. I get the train to one. And it's a refresher. So let's go through. First of all that I went to is we went to Eco Thrift. And I love Eco Thrift because it seems like every single time I go there, I've never not found anything at all. Not once, not never. I've never, ever, ever had a time where I wasn't able to find anything. So the first thing I ended up getting was this lovely sweater. There was a few things that I picked up that I was going to get. There was a pair of Nike Free Runs. They were blue, orange, and gray. And I think they look like they've only been worn once or not even worn at all. And they were $43 and they're originally $110. They were brand new, brand new condition and everything. And then the other one was a pair of, I think they were nike dunks or something like that or they were they were a nike and they had like this galaxy feel to it and everything like this they were really really cool and they were 19.99 so they're basically they were 20 bucks i just ended up not getting them i was going to get them but then i was like you know what if i go to another thrift store and i see some stuff that i might want i might as well just go ahead and go wait and see what i can find there and I kind of really didn't need any pair of shoes, which I, I kind of did want those because it would have went with a lot of Galaxy stuff that I have right now. But it's just that. But first thing I did end up picking up. Oh, yeah. And there was one other sweater. It was like a Bill Cosby, more of a really Bill Cosby sweater. But I just wasn't feeling the collar for some reason. But And I was trying to look for a lot of vintage um, flannels, too. That's what I was really looking for, like flannels or vintage flannels and everything like that. That's what I was looking for. But I ended up picking this sweater up right here. I really love it. I don't know if you guys can get the full color of the t-shirt. I mean, the, why did I say t-shirt? Fix that. Rewind. Hope you guys can get the whole picture of this sweater that I got. It is like a blue and a black. I'm not kind of sure what kind of blue it is. But it's like a like a bright blue with the, with the black in it. And I really love it so much. And it has the tight sleeve so you can pull it up. And I feel like this is going to be one of them, like, Bill Cosby sweater type of material that when you wear it, you might have to wear it with um, a t-shirt or something underneath. Because I feel like it's going to be one of those ones where it's like you put it on and it, ooh, why does it feel like it's ripping? Maybe it's just stretching. But it feels like, yep, it is. I'm already putting it on my arm. It's that itchy material where it feels like everything's going to start itching. But I really love it so much. If you can look to see, I'm going to show you the price in just a minute. This is the brand right here of the of it right here. This is the brand. I'm not exactly sure um, what kind of brand it is. It is an extra large. When I get shirts like this, I like them to be like a little bit size bigger or two sizes bigger. Just because I like that big on these type of sweaters for me I don't know about anybody else but that's just me but this sweater was an extra large and it was actually two dollars and ninety eight cents two dollars and ninety eight cents you can't beat that for a sweater like this it's very vintage very cozy wozy like I could just see myself rocking this out with some cute jeans and some cute shoes and some cute glasses and just being very vintage with this very Bill Cosby whatever just rocking it out I have some black glasses over there I'm looking at that I think might work with this or maybe even some other kind of black ones or anything like this but 
and all this stuff I have not thrown in the wash yet so I need to do that so I'm just showing you guys this before so this one like I said before was two dollars and ninety eight cents and it's extra large I really love this this is one of the finds I found today in eco thrift so now going to the next one and going back I found this one at eco thrift I thought it you know me, if you guys know me and you've been watching my videos for a while, I'm a sucker for vintage t-shirts. I'm a sucker for graphic t-shirts, period. My mom always says, don't you already have an app? Don't you have like 70, 80 already? I'm like, no, I probably have more than that. I don't even know. But I just always feel like when I see a vintage t-shirt or a graphic t-shirt, I need it. Regardless of what it is, if it's something that catches my eye, I was like, I need it, 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 I need it. But this one is a large. And I know I'll be able to fit this one. And this one was only um, 99 cents. And I can't really pass this up. To me, I, it's a vintage tee. It's an HBO vintage tee. And it has like, the HBO is kind of like in this glittery gray. And it says, it's Ton TV. It's HBO. So, I mean not, why did I say Ton? It says, it has HBO and it says, it's not TV, it's HBO. And then it has a little HBO and home box office. And it has a whole little thing right there. I really love it. I thought it was something cute, something really vintagey, something I could just rock with a pair of jeans or whatever. And some cute, some cute shoes or maybe some, some my Converse or whatnot. Or some, maybe get some boots to go along with it, like some... I don't know, military boots or some kind of boots or wear my spike shoes with it or some. I just thought it was really vintage and really cute. So this is the one I got from there from Eco Thrift 2. And also this one was 99 cents. So another one. One of the last finds I got from there that I really just could not pass up. And I was looking up a lot of also not just um, flannel shirts, but windbreaker jackets, like old school, like 80s, 90s ones. So I was looking at those. And I found another vintage shirt when I was going through. A lot of times when I go to um, thrift stores, I run my hands through all the clothes like this. And this is like a tip that maybe might be able to help people out. A lot of people don't like to sit here and search through racks and racks and racks of, of clothes and touch stuff and go through all this stuff. But what it is is I like to feel and take my hand and feel through the whole rack and feel all the clothes and I can feel the material and know what kind of material it is and then look at it and be like okay I like that I, I can feel it and be like hold on let me stop let me look and then a lot of times when I go through t-shirts I will go through the whole rack of t-shirts just to see what it is because even though it's a white t-shirt and you might have like 10 to 15 of the same exact t-shirt that got brought in in a thing and they put it on you might know that something might be in the middle of each one so when it comes to graphic t-shirts or t-shirts period because it could be a graphic tee or it could be just a regular t-shirt that might work with something else that maybe I might not have or whatever or I can do something with it and make something different with it and like recreate something with it or something like that I will do that but I love just finding just stuff which is right random t-shirts and stuff because I'm a graphic t-shirt aholic but, um, and even when it comes, because when I went to Eco Thrift before, I found a original vintage um, bright blue members only jacket. The members only jacket with the rainbow symbol on it. The original members only jacket. I found one. It says members only and everything. I found a few of them today too. I found a gray one. I found a black one, I think it was, or something like that. But a lot of them had stains by the pocket. So I was just like, okay, whatever. But this one I found, this one is a large, and this one is, I know it's the back, but I'm going to show you the front in just a minute. It was $2.98, and I really could not pass this up because to me, it's a vintage find. There's a little tiny stain over here on the top, I just now noticed, but it's really not that bad. I bet you if I wash this, that little stain will come out. It still has the large symbol on it. I don't know if they put another large st sticker on it, but I love this so much. You guys know this movie. You, I know you guys all do. The birds. There's a little tiny stain right here. I think if I wash it and put some stuff on it, it'll come right out. And it has the whole little, the whole little um, 
the whole little schoolhouse or whatever like this and it has the little birds flying across the little black birds and it says the birds and it says Bodega Bay. I love this so much because I am from the west coast and uh, um, San Francisco and the Bay Area and Bodega Bay is probably about maybe an hour and a half away from where I live so it's really not that far maybe an hour and a half two hours away it's really not that far from the capital Sacramento where I live but um, also I just love this um, it's just very vintage when I seen it, I kind of like thumbed over it, not thinking what it was, and I didn't read the little words at the bottom. I just seen the picture, and I was just like, ah, oh, no, whatever. But then when I looked at it again, I was like, oh, it's the birds. And it says the birds, Bodega Bay, and I just love it so much. I'm going to get so much wear out of this. I know I will. And it just looks so cute and so a little amazing. I love this so much. So that was another found that I found there and like I said before this was two dollars and ninety eight cents that's not that bad for a t-shirt when you would go anywhere else to find a t-shirt in that find um, that it would be more expensive so let's go two dollars ninety eight cents this is the first bag from from eco thrift this one again the HBO shirt ninety nine cents large other thing one more time Vintage Fine Sweater, $2.98, right there, all in Eco Thrift. Now let me go through and hit up the next bag from Eco Thrift. And I believe it's only one more that I got from Eco Thrift, and I think there's only one thing in here. Matter of fact, yep, it is. This one is another Vintage Fine. I've been wanting a windbreaker jacket and... This one is a red one, and so I really couldn't beat this one. I love it so much. It's very, very vintage. This is the back of it. It's very, like, uh, really, not Empire Waist, but it has that cinching kind of at the bottom. I really love it. Um, I, um, this right here, this one, this one is a large, and this one was $2.98 too. And it has the kind of cuff sleeve, so when you put it in there, it has, like, the whole put the sleeves on and you can kind of pull it up type of feel to it. I really love it because it's red and I wanted a red one or just a red jacket because there's a couple red things that I do have in my closet or certain things and it zips all the way up like this or you can zip it down to right here and do like this and this is the front of it right here. You can pull the collar down like this or you can wear it up. I just really thought this was really cute. Vintage like windbreaker jacket right here in the middle there is these little folds that you can see the little folds up in here and then it has a little pocket so you can put your hands in the pockets right here in the inside it feels like it has like not the fleece but that that type of material that's like this in the old windbreaker jackets that kind of keeps you kind of warm but it doesn't make it so it's like too like um, thick or whatever it's really thin and then this one it just has a regular windbreaker type of material in the pockets like this and you go over on this side and it has the same little thing on here like that the little flap on this side and then same thing with the pocket on here it zips all the way down it has a little zipper, the little zipper has a little a little P on it and then if you look on it this is the brand right here that's the brand right there if you guys can see that's the brand and I just thought this was like really really vintage and stuff like this it's print so and I'm gonna wash this because there's a couple little stains in the inside of the jacket on the back but it's it's thrifting who doesn't like going thrifting if you don't like going thrifting and you only like name brand stuff then you need to go somewhere because I found name brand stuff at thrift stores before found a UNIF vest like I said I found a UNIF vest it was, I think, $25, and originally online it was like almost two something. So when I found that, I was like, wow. We're like really, really amazed when I found this. So I'm going to unzip this part down to right here and fold over the thing. But this is a red one. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a large. So this is the last thing that I found from Eco Thrift. Like I said, this is $2.98. I really couldn't pass this up. I think this is like amazing, amazing find red windbreaker jacket i think this is going to be so unique for the beginning of the fall season that's coming up 
and coming into winter so if I go out and it's not raining it's a little bit cold I don't have to worry about wearing a heavy heavy jacket because a lot of times I don't like wearing heavy heavy jackets I was trying to also look for a moto jacket but I didn't see any that were actually cute and I didn't see any that were actually the kind of one that I wanted I wanted the one with the zipper down here and the, like this little buckle these type of stuff the vintage one but this is the jacket I found here I love this so much this was from Eco Thrift, like I said. Then next, after we went to Eco Thrift, we went down the street and we went to a place called Thrift Town. And we went to Thrift Town and Thrift Town is like upstairs, downstairs type of thing. It's not actual two stories, but the way it is, it's leveled up here. And then there's stairs that kind of go down into the bottom half. And I kept looking when I got in there and I was like, where is the men's clothes at? I know they got men's clothes. I know they did not stop selling the men's clothes. That's just what they don't do. Because they're, they have a lot of people that are on um, this um, local news station, Good Day Sacramento. This lady that always comes on there. She does um, Thrifty Thursdays and she finds all this stuff and everything like this. It's all about thrift town, the little clothes and stuff like that. So I just thought it was really cool. And so I went there and was looking around at all the guy stuff and I think I picked up like seven different things that I wanted to get like jackets and other shirts and stuff they had a Nestle um, like a Nestle um, like the like the Nestle company um, it was like a denim like a jean jacket type of feel with like the sleeves that were kind of different like that no and then stuff like that so so that's what that was. So I went to Eco Thrift. I mean, not Eco Thrift, but Thrift Town, and got that stuff. And I spent six dollars and forty nine cents on this one for um, Thrift Town. And they used to do the cards and stuff like this, but I guess they don't do that anymore. And you sign up for this little thing. So I guess they stopped doing that in April or whatnot. But it's fine. I guess I could just throw away the little card that's in my wallet, sad. Because I never got to get it filled up. But I went in there and I went to go through it. My mom was trying to look for a table just so she could do crafts and stuff on. So she didn't really care if it got messed up or whatnot. They didn't really have anything. They had some other stuff. Some um, They had a gray uh, uh, members only jacket and I think I'll like a black one or something else like this. And I had a few other stuff but nothing really that caught my eye. So I got two things from there only two things the first thing I got was I as I got another um, vintage um, first thing I got from there is another vintage uh, windbreaker not windbreaker but another vintage jacket that I thought was really really cool something I definitely need to wash because I can smell the thrift store fine on this like you can smell it smells like a thrift store but um, I thought it was really cool and I thought it was me. I love bright colors. This is blue and lime green. And I thought it was just really, really cute. Like, it zips up here, like so. So you can zip it all the way up. And it has like the little, the little jaw strings right here so you can like tighten up the neck collar or whatever if you wanted to. And it also has a button right here so you can like button it, snap, button it, snap. Button it snap, button it snap, button it snap, button it snap, button it snap. Okay, now I'm getting a, getting ahead of myself now. Kind of having fun doing that. But no, it also has the same thing like this. In the inside, it just has a regular windbreaker thing all the way through. Um, this brand right here is beautiful. It's right here. This is the brand. Look at it. This one was two dollars and ninety-nine cents, and this one is a medium jacket. I know I could fit this one. When I seen it, I was like, okay, this is gonna be more of a, like a little fitted one, and I really like it. And if you go into where the arms are, kind of feels. I don't know why it feels slightly sticky, but it does. I don't know why it feels like that. But anyways, it still has the same sleeves, the little cuff sleeves like this, same thing, and it also has. Um, if you go to the sides, it has also has the pockets in here. The pockets are regular, just blue pockets in the inside. I really like it. But what I really caught my eye was more snaps.
No, I'm getting ahead of myself. No, they got more snaps on this side too. No, st stop with the snapping. Dominic, you gotta get... Stop with the snap. No, just playing. But no, and they also got the snaps, like I said. And no, I'm not gonna do it again. Stop it. Okay, because it's the final time. Not gonna do it anymore. Also has the whole, the whole, I guess the whole BB for the sign. It has the drawstring at the bottom, so you can pull it tight and pull the, the bottom tight if you wanted to. Pull it taut. In the um, pull it taut in the um, esthetician world, honey. If you went to esthetician school like I did, you would know. Pull it taut, skin taut. But what you do is there's another zipper right here, and it goes like this, so you can actually buckle it all the way around. And I believe this one, oh, this one is not like that. I thought it was one of them ones that you can actually pull the jacket through. And in the inside, but I don't think it is one of those kind. But I guess you can if you chose to do it like that. You could pull it through, but I just did. I pulled it through, and I guess if you wanted to, you could zip it up like that and fold it into each other. Woo! Now I got a little football catch. Light bright catch, bright colors catch, catch bright colors, catch bright colors, catch them, catch them while you can, catch them while you can. And look, you can see the snaps right here. And you just go ahead and I guess I would unzip it from this side like this and zip and zip and zip and zip and zip and zip and zip. And, zip. and then you can come back. And what you could do here is look, once you get it back out like this, and you get to the certain spot that you like it. Let me find that. Here you can actually go back and snap. And you can snap some more. Don't you just like that sound? Just love the sound of snapping. The little snapping things. But not that close to my face because this does smell like thrift store. Let's get that out. Shake that back out. Put these back together. Let's zip this back. There. And snap this back together. And snap this one back together. And then zip this back up like so. And snap this one back together. And let's go. And like I said, this was $2.99 right here for this jacket. I really thought it was really cute. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this one. It's very vintage -y, very long green, very blue. And then the other thing that I found from there, put this back in the jacket. I mean, put this back in the jacket. I mean, put this back in the bag is this right here. I found a vintage flannel. I thought this was very vintage -y to me. It reminded me of the flannel that... Um, Wiz Khalifa wore at his concert, but I thought it was very, very vintagey, flannel-y type of feel to it, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, has like the little brown little buttons. It doesn't have snaps, so you're not gonna have to worry about me snapping. But um, this one right here is this was a medium, so I know I'll be able to fit this and put this on. You know, it's like this. I thought this was really, really cool. And uh, the brand, it does not say the brand on here. Maybe it's right here. Nope, there's no brand of this one. But it's a, a vintage flannel, and I thought I could rock this with like, just like rock it around like most people do nowadays. Like rock it like this. Hold on. Get the actual part tied around like this. And rock it like this. Or I could take it off and wear it regular and wear it with like a vintage like um, rock t-shirt or a vintage um, um, like a music t-shirt or something like this. This one was $2.99 for this one. 
little bit, not pricey, but I just thought it was cool. Something that I seen, and I was like, there's a few other things, but my mom was like, no, you need to choose a couple different ones. Pick something else and choose other ones. So it was my money, but still, I understood what she was saying. We were going to the thrift stores, and you want to save your money, and they'd be like this. So that's what we did there. So that was the two that I bought from there from Thrift Town. This is my thrifting spot from Thrift Town. So now let me get into the other stuff that I bought. I went to a place, I don't think of the, can't think of the name of it. I want to say the place was the thrift shop or the thrift store. And it was in a off Fruit Ridge or somewhere in Sacramento, South Sacramento at that. And I went through there and I found a couple finds. They were very vintage. They had a lot of vintage knickknacks there, like a very old vintage, like, um, violin and they had a lot of vintage stuff on the wall which is very very vintagey stuff but when I went in there I got how many things did I get out of here oh uh, yeah I got two things out of here the first thing I got out of there was hold on let me see what the price the full price was the full price of both things was six dollars and ninety four cents and the first thing I got was a vintage sweater it's like one of the half sleeve sweaters and I want to say this is polo, but no, it's not. It's Kings of Round Table. Kings, uh, yeah, Kings of Round Table. And so I thought it was really cool. I thought it was very vintage 90s type of sweater. I really did. And I thought I could wear this when it gets re like really cold or just cozy up at home. But I would wear this out like very like vintage-y. And I thought this is something that I could wear with some jeans and rock it out all 90s whatever like this and very vintage-y. So I got this one. It has a little zipper. You can zip it like this. Zip it back. Zip it down. Zip it up. It's vintage so I don't want to ruin it. And it has the really like tight fitted um, bottom so you can actually go ahead and have it up here and it's not going to feel like it's like that it's like the real tight bottom and then it also has pockets so it's always good for the pockets and it doesn't have the pockets that go straight across like that so you have your own individual both pockets here and then when you zip it back up it has the hood and everything and I like the hood because the hood has that rounded neck so it doesn't feel like your neck's going to get cut off with it just being straight. And I like it because it's in the front. You got the green and then you got you got the red and you got the navy and you got the little knights around table right here and you got the the like the the na navy like not navy green but the deep like foresty green and then you got that on the back with the foresty green all in the back and then you got one blue sleeve and one red sleeve and I thought this was like real 80s vintage 90s type of thing and I don't know if you guys ever heard of this brand or know this brand but again like I said this this one was four dollars and eighty cents for this one and it's night of the round tables and this one was what size was this it doesn't say but it says polyester it says 65 percent polyester and 35 percent cotton so it has your good twins your good family members Polly and Lesta in there honey Polly and Lesta honey yes taking that from Medea's family reunion the play version honey got your yes I'm back my camera shut off for some reason maybe the video was too long probably gonna edit this video and get through all of this but it has the inside with like the red all through it like this let me see and then in the inside it has like that fleecy red with the blue and the fleece in the inside so it's like a real fleecy type of sweater something I can wear when it's really cold outside or whatever and it's really thin so it's not too much and it's very vintage so I got that one from there and I think it was just from thrift like the thrift store or thrift something I looked it up on um, my uh, on Google just to find thrift stores and the other one I found was I found this vintage um, jacket and I thought it was really cool it is a um, burgundy jacket and it has the old zipper that's all up here and it's like that kind of like that bomber type of style of jacket except for the bottom doesn't have that whole thing at the bottom it just goes around and it has like the normal little feel on the inside the cut right here like this at the bottom like it does and comes around and instead of being the pockets on the side like this the pockets are like right in the front so like when you have it up it's like this and I thought it was 
I thought it was really cool and really vintage. The neck comes up, so you get that high neck, and the zipper stops at a certain spot, so you can actually just pull the thing down. You don't have to like slightly unzip to get it to go down. And then this one, you can see the brand here. This is the brand, so you guys know what the brand is, like that and stuff. So, and this one was one dollar and sixty cents for this one, and I thought it was really cool. Actually, no, the pockets don't actually go down. The, um, the front they're actually are diagonal but they are in the front they're not on the side going in so they're like this so you guys can see my hands are in there so when you put it up here pockets go here and I just thought it was real cool burgundy all the way around this is one of the colors for my dance crew it's burgundy black and gray for one color and then black gray I think and mint green or mint green and gray so and I thought this was really cool and it had like the real tight sleeves like this so when you sorry so I'm back my camera kind of cut off again it's like this and it's real tight so you can like pull it up and do what you need to do but like I said this is my one from there so let's go through and find a little okay hey what's up YouTube I'm back sorry I was wondering why my phone kept all my light brights out there, I'm sorry, but I was wondering when my phone, not my phone, but my camera kept clipping out and clipping out and I had to keep piecing stuff back together, which I'm going to have to do in this video. But it was because my camera ran out of memory because I guess I was speaking too long in this video, but I'm going to try to shorten it down, do whatever I got to do. But yeah, like I said, this is the last one that I found, like I said, it's just regular um, fleecy kind of in the inside and not fleecy in the hood. And it has that round hood to it, but like I said, I had that one. And then this one, the burgundy one. And then the last one that we went to, we went to this place. I didn't even know it was a thrift store. Um, it had like, it was somewhere off of Franklin. And it was like this, it looked like a pub, like an English pub. That's what it looked like. And I found this and all, and this is like my find of the day to me in my eyes because I've been wanting one of these for so long and it is another windbreaker jacket but it's a certain kind that I've been looking for and I used to have one back in the day when I was in high school from Old Navy but this is not an Old Navy one but um, on the ticket it said five dollars when they rung it up it was only two dollars and fifty cents and I was kinda kinda devastated because they didn't up, they haven't updated their systems and anything so they only allow cash only so when my mom went to go pull out my card and do everything, because I asked my mom who's here to hold my card for me, pull it out, so that I asked her to go ahead and do it. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't take cards. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And I remember I went and just turned in some extra little cans and bottles that I had at my house earlier today before we went out and did everything. And just so I can get a little bit of money, just so I can clean up the stuff in the garage and in the shed, just to get rid of it. It was only five dollars and like forty something cents. I really wasn't that bad. So I forgot, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I do have money on me. I actually have cash." So I was like, "Okay, cool." So I went in there and I pulled out my five dollars, and they were like, "Oh no, it's not five. It's it's two dollars and fifty cents." And I was like, "Well, the ticket said five. She's like, "No, it's two dollars and fifty cents." And I I don't know if it was on sale or whatnot, but this is my find right here. I'm gonna love this like the baby that it is this is so oh my gosh this is a large jacket but it's the old school large jacket it's the old school windbreaker it's a white one doesn't have the sleeves that come doesn't have the pockets that come the pockets actually do come across I didn't even know that this pocket comes all the way across like the old school vintagey ones just like this Oh my gosh, the old school vintage sleeves where it's like real tight on the sleeves. You can tell it's really tight on the sleeves. You come in, put it on like this, real tight, like you gotta snug it. This is the one that you can like really lift it up and it's really, really good. Like I love this. This is like a nice little fall or even just out whenever. Even if you want to wear this during the summertime, you can wear this. This it's like it barely there's a couple little stains in here that then once you wash it, it will come right out and everything else like this. It has the the elastic strap pull thing that when you zip it up, you can pull it up like that. Perfect. Comes down. It has the old school clamps that you pull to pull the sleeve, the pull the um the call um not the collar but the hood and everything else like this, and it zips up like this. 
It says five dollars on here. It's a large. It was originally two fifty. And guess, take a wild guess on what brand this is. This brand is actually Foot Locker brand. Wow, I'm surprised. This is like an old vintage Foot Locker brand. When Foot Locker was Foot Locker, when Foot Locker was the business, and everybody went to Foot Locker to buy Foot Locker stuff. Not saying people don't now, because they go and they go buy their Nikes and their Jordans, but I'm talking about when Foot Locker, their actual brand stuff was actually good. This is vintage, and the reason why I'm saying it's vintage is because of this. This one thing. I know I need to wash this from all these little marks or whatever on here, and I bet you all the stuff will come right out, but it's this right here. This is what makes it vintage. This pocket right here is what makes it vintage. You got the vintage pocket. Yeah, it doesn't have the little pull string or the pull tab. I don't even know if this one came with it, but you pull it like this. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at the zipper really closely, it goes all the way around. Do you know why it goes all the way around? Because it's a vintage jacket, vintage pocket jacket. You pull it through. You can tell by the even the little way it zipped up the little zipper on here. And on the zipper it says YKK. You pull it through like this. It has a little pouch so it hides everything so you don't see all that. Why it's vintage is because of this. It is a reversible zipper. And then why I say that is because you see the little strap, you can hang this on something, off a jacket, um, off a bag, off of anything, if you don't want to wear it. If it's too hot outside, you just don't want to feel like wearing a jacket right now, you can take it off and wear it later. It's because of this. Take it, fold it inside. There's a little couple stains right here. I know I'll eventually get those out with the wash or whatever. And even if I have tickets to cleaners, I'll do so. Pull it through. Kind of like the other one with the other pocket. But that one wasn't a reversible zipper, so it wasn't really made to do that. But this one is. Pull it through. You can see the inside right here. It even says it right here. See, it says, it says, see it has the little thing right here, and it says FL, and it says, it says back, and then it says jacket, 100%, um, nylon, water resistant. So it's water resistant, so you can wear this during the rain stores in own pouch so you can store this jacket in its own little pouch so you take everything and you push it in and you push it in and you push it in take this little end out you keep going you just shove it oh my. you shove it in there shove it in there shove it in there sorry for the probably dirty gutter stuff but no push it in there see how i said the zipper is reversible flip the zipper bring the zipper all the way around to the other side and boop now you got the zipper on the other side and then all you do here take the zipper right here and you zip it up boom pull this part in there pull it pull it push it down in there close this part bring this part out like so and you have the reversible zipper and now you have it so you can hang it like this own little pouch I've wanted another one of these so bad I've asked Old Navy if they carried these they didn't know what they were talking about because they were so old and when I went and seen this and this is a white one and I didn't really care what color I got this jacket in with the whole pull strings and the pull tabs at the bottom I didn't really care as long as I had one I wanted one in black or white or black but white because of you can wear this with anything you can wear this white with anything I know back in the day they used to have they used to have a clear one where you, it's like a clear see-through one and that one's pretty tight and you can wear that one with anything and then when I went to thrift town today sorry to get back onto the thing I seen a pair of shoes if they were my size I would have totally got them they were very vintage they were a vintage pair of Converse they were clear and see-through, so I thought that they were really cool, but they were size 7, and there's no way I could fit a size 7. Sorry, I'm just going to have to finish the rest of the video on my laptop, because I went through all that with my memory, going back and forth and having to just upload them to my computer real quick, and then delete them from my camera, but now all of a sudden, my batteries died. Yes, my batteries died.
So, but like I was saying, you can hold it into your own thing. It's reversible. So you can go throw this in a bag, toss it away. Like I have my one right here. It's so horrible. All messed up in the back. I'm like literally holding it up by safety pins. Like I need to have my mom resell this or just get it or just get it fixed at a actual um place that does tailoring or whatever. Get it fixed or whatever. It's just how my mom fix it, but I love it. It's American Eagle, so I just can't get rid of it. I love it so much. It's my first thing over bag that I owned, so I just thought I couldn't get rid of it. And I no matter of fact I had a couple other ones, but that was like my first big one that I've owned. And I got it because I had it could fit my laptop, whatever in there. But yeah, you can just throw it up in here like this in the bag like so if you didn't want to wear it and just throw it in the bag and like this and, just, and like I said see it's in the bag now it's all there and whenever you need it just pull it out like so unzip it like so come around and just take it right out of the bag come out shake it out see how it has the pull string so you can pull it from the bottom and make it tighter if you wanted to come back bring the zipper all the way around like I said and zip it in so that was the end of my thrift pearl videos my thrifting videos um like all my little videos that I did for thrifting today this is the last found that I found in like the I guess the um the pub type of place that I found it in so I went ahead and found this jacket. Like I said, this one was 250, and this one is what size is this one again? Just so I can come back and let you guys know. This one was a large, so and it is, and this brand again is Foot Locker, so I just couldn't pass that up. So I found a lot of cool little vintage jackets, vintage sweaters, and stuff like this because winter is coming up, fall is approaching, so that is what I got. I was looking for some other stuff, but couldn't really find that. I just went to go look anyways. I wasn't really planning too much to find anything or get anything. But on that note, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and go ahead and edit it and upload it for you guys to see. But um, on that note, um, all my light brights out there, I want you guys to stay bright and colorful. And... Um, Stay bright and colorful. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you like what I got, if you want to see any more videos like this of thrifting pearls and me going out to thrift stores, if you want me to take you along with you while I go search for stuff like this at thrift stores, um, then um, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. Um, I really like thrifting. I really like finding thrift stuff because you can find some real good vintage finds and stuff like this. And you can also find stuff that you can just refurbish and make your own. Like, there's so many different ways that you can take a pair of jeans and make them like the, the, um, the shredded jean look or just make them look different or color them, them with, with, um, fabric dye or whatever like this, but, or bleach them out or do whatever. But um, I really love thrifting, and I really love this stuff like that. So if you guys like this, if you guys liked what I got, if you guys want to know more about the stuff that I got, where I got it from, just comment down below. Like I said, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If not, just pass by the video, please. It's not going to hurt me. Uh, if you don't like it and you just don't want to give it a thumbs down, then do what you got to do. It's not going to hurt me or nothing. Comment down below if you like this. Comment down below if you like the stuff that I found and anything so on and so forth if you like this type of video or whatnot if you're not already and you like to and you like to be part of the light bright family so you can stay bright and colorful ding 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 then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there go check out my other videos about body piercings and my body modifications that I do have I am going to make another video pretty soon about my update for my nose ring or whatnot I haven't done that in a minute and I know I need to do that and also, um, check out my other videos that will be coming soon. Uh, so go ahead and do that. If you guys want to look at my other videos, go ahead and do that. Give them a thumbs up. You can also go ahead and follow me on different social medias. I'll put that down below and stuff like that. And on that note, peace and stay bright and colorful, all my light brights. Bye.